Oh, it's a lovely sunny day. Slightly chilly today, but they're just grazing at the moment. This is their grazing spot. I've been asked by a few people why I don't use flexi leads, why I choose these, really, their horse lunge lines. And very simple reason for that. And today really did confirm to me that as far as I'm concerned, they are dangerous. There was a lady walking along the road. I was driving on the left-hand side of the road, being in the UK, and the lady was actually across the other side of the road walking towards me with a pug. And the pug was as more extension on its flexi lead than Sophie has here. And I don't know what made the dog do it, but it shot out into the road so far that it was almost under my wheels on the other side of the road. I slammed on the brakes, of course. The lady looked round and she was surprised. The look of surprise on her face because her dog was almost under my wheels. Now, let's just try and put yeah, her dog's at least as far, as far away from me as Sophie is now. Look how she could, if she was to go out into the centre, she'd be, and it was a road, she'd be on the wrong side. So, first of all, for me, when you're walking on the streets or anywhere where there's other people, dogs should be on collar and lead, slip lead preferably, so as they're walking nicely by your side. The only reason to use this sort of line, unless you're working certain rescue dogs, that's, that's a, you know, working dogs apart, is for purposes like I've got here, which is my dogs can be as free, as near free as possible. I see, I was just waiting for him to step over her long line completely. And the fact I've got long lines makes me, although I do it anyway, concentrate on them. You know, really, and not only because I want to know what they're doing, but also if they poo, I want to clear that up. But it really does mean that you've got to pay attention to the line or else it's going to get round your legs and all sorts. And I can gather it up quicker. But flexi leads for me are a no, but certainly never, ever, ever, where there's other traffic, uh, I mean, people, you know, anywhere and let, that you could not let the dog run free it should only be an extension like I've got here never on the road it's it's not only uh, dangerous it's just stupid because people think oh I've got the dog on the lead I don't care where it goes they don't even think about it they're almost invisible these are very visible so as these two enjoy their little rummies around this area they usually do have a rummage around here. Got to be careful because there was a cat sunning itself up there the day before yesterday and he keeps looking at it. I know one thing, I couldn't live with a cat with these two. So yeah, please, for those, I know there's people who have made a lot of money out of flexi leads and they must be laughing all the way to the bank as they give people like me a nip, you know, can you imagine how I felt if I was just a few seconds too slow and that little dog had gone under my wheels you know that would have ruined my life I think yeah it would have done and of course you would have blamed me so have a lead if you've got to keep them on long line make sure you can see it and you've got to work it keeps your attention on them anyway so that's my little rant for the day because it really did upset me so uh we can carry on now, we're going up there, then round and back home, and I've got plenty of jobs to do, so. All right, darling, a good boy.